Okay, so all the holes have been drilled, all the wood has been cut, all the primer has been done, and they're really ready to go. So what I'm going to start doing is painting the center boards black. Now the center boards are the ones that the shelves go on. So in this case it's those four in the middle and the top and the bottom are these shelves, these shelves, and these shelves. I just decided it would be easier to paint it black individually rather than do it once it was all together. I've already gotten a start on some of the boards here, so here's what some of the finished product is going to look like. And that's for the first shelf. There's the top and bottom of it. So once this is finished, I still gotta flip these boards over and paint the other side. You can see they're still white on the bottom. Once I'm done there, they'll be ready to throw together. So now that all these are painted black, they're ready to go. Now, I didn't paint the tops of these because those are the pieces that are going to be in between. And since they're going to be in between, it doesn't matter. There's going to be a board on top of them and on the bottom of them. Now, as you see on this shelf, I'm painting now. And this is why I decided to go ahead and paint these center pieces first. Because I knew now, once I got this together at least, that I was going to have to paint each individual corner and then go through with the roller and it was just going to be a lot more tedious so I eliminated that whole thing by painting those first. Now once I put those together and the original ones you can see behind are still white all I'll have to do is paint the top and the bottom. It'll be a lot easier so I thought that would save me some trouble. As you can see I'm getting this together there's nothing that says you can't do it this way if you want to. It'll be sweet when it's done. Uh, the reason I picked black, in case anyone is wondering, is because this room is a light blue and I thought black would be a really cool accent for it. The great thing about doing your own shelves like this is that you go over to Lowe's or Home Depot or your local hardware store or paint store, wherever you want to go, you can pick up paint in any imaginable color and you can suit your shelves to match your room no matter what. I just thought black was going to be really sharp. So, I mean, look at that black against the blue. I love it. And there's the finished shelving unit on the wall. I used L brackets to mount them. I raised them up about two and a half inches. That way I can uh, put the vacuum attachment under there and vacuum underneath. And at the same time, it looks nicer mounted to the wall above the floorboard, I think. Now this is different than the original design I wanted to do, but I decided to put the TV on this wall right here. And that one's up there now. And I want to remount that one, the L brackets on that. I did them. That was the first one I did, and I'm not pleased with the way I did it. I'm going to rehang that one. but. Okay, and what I have here is this stack and this stack. That's the leftover wood 
from building the shelves themselves and I'll be able to take some of that and cut it into shelves to fit on the shelves and then this is what I bought specifically to make shelves out of uh, this way I don't waste anything I'd hate to have bought too much and not been able to use it all so uh, I have already measured out what I need and I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting these up then I'll paint them and throw them on and the shelves are done there's the shelves I managed out of my scrap wood to get all but two done so I need one more piece of wood to cut but that's no big deal as soon as I get those painted they'll be ready to go up and on a whim I went ahead and decided to get rid of this old track lighting this stuff was straight out of the 80s it was awful and I went down to Lowe's and I found a new track it's actually really cheap and I thought it would be nice to kind of update mounting the actual track is pretty easy you can't see it in there there's a screw the center part mounts like I said to the original light fixture and then to uh, distribute that weight I guess you know on the sides there there's two screw holes and I just used anchors like these jobs right there and they're really easy to use you drill a pilot hole you pop the uh, little plastic anchor in and then you screw into it just like you would the wall and you're done so it's very sturdy and I'm pretty pleased with the uh, end result so I added my third track light there it is good to go and I went ahead threw a dimmer on that switch thought that would be nice if I ever want to you know, dim the lights and I don't want this bright spot that's a nice setting right there so that's good and you know this stuff is surprisingly easy to install you know it's three wires and as long as you shut your breaker off you know and you don't have any live current you're really okay you're not gonna hurt yourself I mean if you know nothing I wouldn't recommend doing it but if you're the least bit um, handy then you can probably install it yourself I mean if I can do it you can do it same with the track lighting I mean three wires as long as you have an existing light fixture in your ceiling it's pretty easy so that's really cool I'm glad to have those up